Good, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. Chris O'Connor, and I am the course director on the BSc Honours uh, degree in Paramedic Studies at UL. So you're all very welcome to Open Day presentation. Uh, I'll probably be speaking for about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, if you have any questions uh, as I go along, please feel free to enter them into the chat. So we'll move on and I will uh, introduce you to the programme. So the course we get here uh, in UL, there is a dual award. First of all, we get, we get uh, at the end of the four year degree, you earn your level eight honours BSc degree in paramedic studies from University of Limerick. Also, a long way after year two, you are entitled to register as a paramedic with the Pre-Hospital Emergency Care Council uh, of Ireland. And Pre-Hospital Emergency Care Council, or FEC for short, uh, are the regulator of all pre-hospital care in Ireland. It's an unusual acronym. It could have been worse. They could have called it the Pre-Hospital Origin Care Council, and that would have made it a totally different acronym. So basically, in our programme, once you get halfway through the programme, you will be a qualified paramedic, and therefore you will be entitled to work as a paramedic. Um, so it's it's uh, it's actually quite it's quite a significant part of the maybe one of the reasons why people do choose to to come and study with us is that pretty much for most of the, your time um, as a student in UL, you basically work and earn what you might describe as adult wages uh, while you're doing it. So we move on and I'll tell you a little bit more about the programme. So we can move on with the slide there, please. So I'm on slide three so there. Now, that's OK. <clears throat> so now the programme in UL, uh, it's a little bit different to most uh, traditional paramedic programmes. We do a lot of our teaching here through a process known as problem based learning or PBL. Now, probably most of you who have uh, been in secondary school would have had a, a much more traditional approach to education in that you would have had a sage on the stage basically telling you all the information you need to know. Your job would then be to, to memorize it and then apply it to problems uh, in a test. Uh, at, at UL, we use the technique where we give, where we start with a problem, and then as a group, you identify what you need to know about the topic, and you go research the topic. Obviously, we don't let you, we leave, we don't leave you doing it on your own. Uh, we we will guide you through the process, and then you will be able to solve the problem. Uh, through through working with your with your facilitator and with other members of your group. So things are done a little bit differently here. We found that this approach offers people a better opportunity to develop uh, themselves as critical thinkers, as self-directed lifelong learners. And in the in the profession of paramedicine, that really is the name of the game. You, it's one of these professions that you never, ever stop learning. So we move on and we look at some of the more specifics of the program. So next slide, please. So, so again, the program is run over four years. And um, basically the way the way it works, you're uh, well, up to now, you've been on campus uh, in year one. Um, I'll, I'll explain how we're doing that now in a few minutes. So you've got two semesters in year one. Uh, semester one um, runs from September until Christmas. 
And currently we are delivering the programme mostly online. So any theoretical components of the programme are delivered online and students attend the campus in UL every third week so that we can accomplish all the practical skills and develop our skills in terms of how we run clinical scenarios. Uh, so that happens every third week. At the end of semester one, and uh, this year because of uh, the late start to the semester, we will be we will be taking the regulator exams in January and at the start of February. So those consist of uh, practical scenario based exams and a multiple choice question paper. Semester two, which is in the spring, mainly consists of clinical placements. So this is what what FEC refer to as your undergraduate internship. And in these in these uh, clinical placements, you will get to you will get to work on a supernumerary basis in all sorts of departments in the hospital, ranging from the emergency department to pediatrics to the catheterization lab, coronary care unit, intensive care unit, uh, the operating theatre, maternity and neonatal. We also have other placements with the likes of the fire brigade uh, and the emergency ambulance service, the coast guard and the analyphy drug project. All of which combine to provide you with a rounded experience uh, that you can, you know, you can you can bring this to to uh, to link up with the theoretical components that you've learned in semester one. Semester two really brings all this together, where you get to meet these conditions head on in a real situation. So that's year one. Um, so once you finish year one, move on to year two, which is your one year internship. OK, and this takes place in, in the northwest of England. So you can see it on the map there. That is uh, NWAS, Northwest Ambulance Service in the UK. And they cover a very large area from Cumbria in the north right down to Chester. It also covers Merseyside, Liverpool, a bit of Manchester area and Lancashire. So it's quite a big area. And just to give you an idea how busy this service is, on Christmas Day in 2017, the whole of Ireland answered 1,500, or sorry, 1,400 999 emergency. The NWAS area answered four and a half thousand. So when I say this is a busy ambulance service and you will gain tremendous experience over there. I mean, it, it, it's a, it really is a fantastic experience. How good of an experience you might very well ask? Well, if I can put it like this, most of our students who went there last year are still working there by choice because they want to work there. And this has been the same story over the last three years. Most of the students who who went to NWAS on their placement have ended up staying there. Um, so you will find it a good experience. Now, it's also worth noting that when you're on your placement in NWAS, you will be paid. You will be a paid employee, which is good because you can afford to live, so you will not be the, the archetypical impoverished student. You, you'll actually, uh, most of our guys uh, tend to share houses initially when they go over there, and you know most of them are able to buy a car um and have a, a very good very good social life so 
there's a lot to recommend about this placement in NWAS. So we'll just move on to the next slide. Um, year three and year four then, most of the work in year three and year four is done remotely. Uh, typically we have uh, one contact week per semester in both year three and year four. That enables people to work full time as well. OK, and uh, as I said, there's one contact week and also we keep in contact with you throughout the semester and there are assignments to be uh, to be produced relating to the modules uh, that you're studying. But the big thing about our degree is for three out of the four years, you can actually work on, you can work full time and earn a very good living while you're earning your degree. And at the end of it, as you can see, 282 credits will give you a, an honours Bachelor of Science degree in paramedic studies, and you will also be registered with the Pre-Hospital Emergency Care Council at paramedic level. While it's not part of the, the programme, many of our students have also managed to register with the Health and Care Professions Council in the UK as, as a UK paramedic level, which is equivalent to what we would call advanced paramedic in this country. So with, with HCPC uh, registration and one year's experience, you would be entitled to come back and apply for registration with FEC at advanced paramedic level. There are also advantages uh, with the HCPC in that, you know, if you fancy to travel the world, that qualification travels. We'll move on there, please. So how do you join? Well, there are a few parts to this. Uh, first of all, the leaving certificate, you must do a minimum of six, of six subjects. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you need two H5s and four O6s or four H7s. The subjects must include maths, Irish or another language and English. And you must also have one of the science subjects listed below. In addition to this criteria on the next slide, you also have to have a full clean B license and a provisional C or a C1. Now, if you have a, if you have a full C license or a C1, all the better, but you must at a minimum have a provisional C or C1. And it's also worth noting that by the time you finish year one, you must have a full C or a C1. So the, the C1 license is, is a progression point to get to year two. The other requirements we have is you must uh, pass guard vetting. I mean, if any of you happen to be uh, undercover axe murderers, we would like to find that out before you start the program. And the other thing you need to do is you need to pass the occupational health assessment. Because again, paramedicine, uh, it, it can be a physically demanding job. Uh, because remember what you've got to do, you've got to work, shift work, for example, and most uh, ambulance services tend to operate 12 hour shifts. So, that would be flipping back and forward between day shift and night shift. So that in itself is hard work, but also, you know, you need to do some physical work as well, because uh, quite often you will have to move patients from difficult situations. OK, so we move on to the next slide and uh, that's just our contact details. 
So uh, the course code is LM1013, Bachelor of Science in Paramedic Studies. Our web page is there. And if you ever need to contact us, the web, the email address is paramedicstudies, all one word, at ul.ie.